about to see is an illusion. We thought it's time we did a big illusion. And we've got a gentleman sitting on that end. Would you catch all of that? That's fine. And I've picked on you two jury members because I happen to know you're members of tug of war teams. Same team? Yeah? Yeah? Wrap it up then. Wrap it up. Pull it in. Pull it in tight, fellas. Pull that rope and give it a good pull to prove it is solid. There are no trap dolls in that rope. Is that not true? That's true. <laughs> now, I want you to just wrap it around your hands, sort of like that. Okay? That's really good. Oh, they can't see you. Stand up a bit. Stand up. That's fine. Now, keep coming and follow me up here. Now, <laughs> in fact, what's happening now is they're being bra brought back to a, a place they've just visited. Did you step over there, sir? Um, because before we started this trick, we invited them on stage to examine all these props. And what I want you to do now... What's your name? John, okay, John, take hold of that, the middle of that, drop the end, take hold of the middle, and I want you to tie it round the middle of Amanda. It's a good job, isn't it? Yeah? Great. And you leave go your end. That's fine. Now, could you please for me, your name? Jerry. Jerry. John and Jerry. <laughs> Almost a cartoon. <laughs> Would you just step, step back round there and have a look at this? This is a tea chest. It's got little holes drilled in it, and, and it's true, isn't it? I invited you up, you've examined everything. Fine. Can we just show it to the people at home all the way around? Has a little hole at this end, and if we go all the way around there, that's all there is to that one. This one's made a little bit differently. It's got a flag on the top for a start, and it's got hole in the back, but none in the front, and it's got little stands on. It's a bit like a wheelbarrow, in fact. All right? A little bit like a wheelbarrow. And what I want you to do now is look at this. This is a Chinese coin. Now, a Chinese coin sometimes has a square hole in the middle of it. And from that, we use that as a model to make this, which is a very large Chinese coin. Now, I wonder if I can show you. It's, it is solid. The lads have examined it all, even the little hole in the middle. And that little hole there is a big feature in this trick. Now, behind there, and I'm trying to explain everything to you in a bit of a hurry, these are martial arts spears. I don't know how they use them, but that's the idea of them. And they are solid. That's right, isn't it, Jerry? Yes. He's examined everything, that lad. And now, John, comes your moment of truth. You take a trip. Can you just pick up that tassel off the edge of the, st off the stage there? And bring it round here. And I want you to go in there and push it out the little hole at the back. You'll have to move up, Amanda. All right? I know Amanda's not Chinese, but she was the nearest we could get. <laughs> we just take that out of there, and you can see it coming right out there, and we're just going to drop it on the floor for now. All right? Fine. Now, would you come round here and pick up that coin? I'll get ready to, because we want it in a minute. Not yet, though. Now, Amanda, where's the, uh, where's the sticky? There it is. We're going to stick this up, and I want you to watch very closely as we wrap it right away round there. All right? And round there. And we just make it... It's a sticky mess, isn't it? We stick it all down. That's so that the knot can't come loose or anything like that. It's fastened tight. Sorry. <laughs> Would you now get into the box? And what we're going to do is ask you to just hold this other tassel up in the air a little bit, because I'm going to wheel you around, and I want the, the jury at least to be able to see what's going on. Right, we move that round to there. Now, fellas, you pick up the heavy bit. You pick up, <laughs> I've got it worked out. You pick up that coin, and could you come round here and slot it in behind those two upright legs? That's right. Drop it in there. It's a bit heavy, isn't it, fellas? Round a bit like that. Is it going in? Yes. That's very good. Yes, that's about squared off. It's near enough. Now, would you go round the back of there, and where's Jerry gone? Jerry, would you take that rope there, and you feed it through there? the same as, as your friend John did, and go all the way through till it comes out of here. Right, now, once you've got it out there, would you come around the back here and just get hold of that against the box so that it can't sort of go in the box again or it can't come out of the box. We gather this up and we put it in there. Would you get me um, one of the, sp the spears, John? You get me a spear out, that's it. Now, you get me a spear out because... And, and, in fact, I'll have all four of them. As they go in, you will see them coming out of the bottom. I hope you can. And uh, <laughs> you don't believe anything, do you? And we just take it. Are you holding that tight against? No, no, you must hold it tight against there. I don't want it to go in or out of that box at all. That's fine. Great. And I want to put these through there. And you can see them going down there. And this is the last one. Now, the coin shuts off one um, tea chest. And this, the, these shut off this one. Fine. Now, come right round here and hold this tassel. You get hold of that tassel. It's silly, but it works. And you'll stay there just a second while I tell you what's going to happen. Over here, we have got the rope, all right? Complete with the tassel on the end. 
Amanda, stick your hand up. All right. It, the rope then goes round Amanda, who waves that backwards and forwards. The rope goes through the little hole, through the rods, and out this end. I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, I want you to give a big pull, because you've got to pull Amanda through the little hole. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't believe it, neither do I, but we're going to have a go. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. That's it, and she comes right through the little hole.